All right, question number 19, let's get right into it. So if Lono begins at his back door and walks eight yards east, six yards north, 12 yards east, and five yards north to the barn door, but how many yards less would he walk if he could walk directly from the back door to the barn door? All right, guys, so what we have to do for this, let's just, let's just go ahead and sketch it out. So this is gonna be his door. So he's gonna walk eight yards east, six yards north, 12 yards east, and then five yards north, and then he ends up at this door right here, okay? So let's go ahead and write that out. It's going to be eight, then six, then 12, then five, okay? So let's figure out how many total yards he walked. So that's just gonna be eight plus six plus 12 plus five. We're gonna get 14 plus 12 plus five. That's gonna be 26 plus five, which is going to be 31. So he initially walks 31 yards. Okay, we'll write that up over there. Now it's asking us what would be the difference if he could just walk straight there. So what they're asking is if he could do something like this and just go straight through, how many yards less would he walk? So guys, what we can do is we can actually just treat this as a triangle. So we can just go, go ahead and fill out a triangle here. So the height of the triangle, so we'll do, this is, we'll call this B and we'll call this A, right? Kind of like for the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared plus C squared. Okay, so B is gonna be five plus 11, I'm sorry, five plus six, which is gonna be 11. And then A is going to be eight plus 12. So that's gonna be 20. And we know that the hypotenuse is going to be C, sorry, not C squared, just C. Now, in order to calculate C, we're gonna to need to use the Pythagorean theorem. So it's gonna be A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And that is going to be 20 squared plus 11 squared equals C squared. So we're gonna get 400 plus 121. That's gonna be equal to C squared. And then we're gonna get 521 equals C squared. And we can take the square root of both sides. All right, guys, so you will get a calculator on the uh, during the real exam. But uh, let's just try and estimate here. So 521, I mean, that's more or less five times 100, right? So we can just rewrite this as five times 100. And we can just take the square root of both of these, right? Because it's all in the square root. So again, guys, this is just gonna be approximately 10, sorry, it's gonna be approximately 10 times the square root of five. And the square root of five has gotta be greater than two. So this is like approximately 21 or something like that, right? Okay, so with this in mind, we want the difference, right? So don't pick answer choice C, I know it's tempting, but what we're gonna do is it's gonna be 31 minus 21, and this is going to give us 10, and 10 is approximately eight, and we can see that the, an the other answer choices don't come anywhere near it, so our correct answer choice is going to be A. So hopefully that made sense, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and um, I'll see you in the next video.